The world's largest particle collider passed its first major test by firing two beams of protons in opposite directions around a 17-mile underground ring on Wednesday, in what scientists hope is the next great step to understanding the makeup of the universe, described as the biggest physics experiment in history. Suffice it to say, people were stupid. After the beam is injected, it takes about five seconds for acquisition of the data from the, uh, from the beam monitors. Physicists around the world now have much greater power to smash the components of atoms together in attempts to learn about their structure. The collider is designed to push the proton beam close to the speed of light, whizzing 11,000 times a second around the tunnel, feeding through a vacuum that is colder and emptier than outer space. Brrrr. The paths of these beams will cross and a few protons will collide. The collider's two largest detectors, essentially huge digital cameras weighing thousands of tons, are capable of taking millions of snapshots a second. The CERN experiments could reveal more about quote unquote dark matter, antimatter, and possibly hidden dimensions of space and time. It could also find evidence of a hypothetical particle, the Higgs boson, which is sometimes called the God particle because it is believed to give mass to all other particles and thus to matter that makes up the universe. The start of the collider came over the objections of some, who feared the collision of protons could eventually imperil the Earth by creating micro black holes which are subatomic versions of collapsed stars whose gravity is so strong they can suck in planets and other stars altogether. Ah! 